or that they we're just now beginning to understand the benefits of properly staging things. So, so I really, when, when I think about practical projects, I want to run them. And so for me, the, as, as I said, functional programming for me is about data outside of functional programming. We're not seeing so much data. This is the stuff that we run with. And so I think the, the, the types, the applied type theory, uh, what, whatever you want to call it is kind of, is a means to an end, but it's not the central idea of functional programming. The central idea of functional programming is everything is data. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I see your point. I think, I think the way that I look at it it's in, in some sense is also that like when you're talking about not necessarily type systems, but you know, like type theory for me, this is a very, very, very personal view maybe, but uh, it's about describing describing the language behind, right? And what you're describing here about the macro system, you know, like, it's, it's really it's really hard to describe what this is doing right, because, you know, like it's the structure that you're dealing here, you know, like the, the, the types of these macros is, is very complex, very complex stuff, extremely recursively complex. And uh, I don't know, I, see, I also see that as, as part of, of some, some type theory as well. Uh yeah. No, no, that's great. But, but I mean, there's this larger, I mean, the, the one thing that I really dislike about sort of the, the, the culture of type systems is that yeah, I mentioned earlier that I really prefer my programs to be, pro, to be constructed systematically, right? And we know how to do this at the level of the data and the functions operating on the data. I would argue we do not know how to do this at the level of the types, right? 